Hi there, gang. I'm my radar senior meteorologist Matthew Capucci in Washington. Earlier this week, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration released its proposed budget for 2026. The agency anticipates reducing its workforce by 17%. The proposal also outlines several critical programs that could be eliminated entirely, jeopardizing the future of weather forecasting and research. The agency says they're aiming for a, quote, leaner NOAA that focuses on core operational needs and eliminates unnecessary layers of bureaucracy. But several of the biggest proposed slashes is striking. For example, NOAA's OAR. That stands for Oceanic and Atmospheric Research, basically the hub of all the weather, climate, and ocean research the entire field is doing. OAR is responsible for driving progress and expanding our understanding of weather and forecasting. Slashing OAR could really slow or entirely halt advancements in atmospheric research. Now, odds are you've probably never heard of OAR, but I guarantee you, you benefit from their work. If you live in an area prone to tornadoes, hurricanes, big hail, or wildfires, then OAR drives the research helping our field to forecast better. OAR is home to 10 research laboratories and 16 cooperative institutions at various universities. Among them, the National Severe Storms Laboratory in Norman, Oklahoma. We call them NSSL. They've been around for 60 years. They're the first ones to ever track a tornado start to finish using radar back in 1973. They discovered the tornadic vortex signature, aka AKA the TVS. That laid the groundwork for convincing Congress to approve a radar network. NSSL is the reason we have tornado warnings nowadays. Just a couple generations ago, that wasn't a thing. There were no tornado warnings. Now, NSSL is also spearheading an effort called Warn on Forecast, basically using machine learning to project an hour, two hours out, where storms might form before they ever produce a tornado. They're also the ones who introduced dual polarization radar, basically letting us see debris the second a tornado tornado touches down. They're advancing something called phased array radar, which could be vital in severe weather detection. They're conducting groundbreaking hail research. And mind you, hail causes about $10 billion worth of damage to the U.S. economy every year. Understanding it helps us all. NSSL is basically the lighthouse that guides the entirety of severe weather research in this country. It's what drives us all forward, and it protects vitally sensitive parts of the U.S. economy. All this work is indirect jeopardy. And truth be told, we're kind of an uncharted territory. We don't know what will happen. Moreover, NOAA's proposal would also cut the Atlantic Oceanographic and Meteorological Laboratory in Miami, which includes the Hurricane Research Division. And here's why that matters to you. One of the best hurricane models we have recently rolled out. It's called HAFS, H-A-F-S. Except this office is the one that helped create it in cooperation with another office both of which may soon be eliminated. There are some indications we could also see a reduction in the number of Hurricane Hunter flights this season and in the future, but again, I'm working to get more details on that right now. This is just a small sampling of the more than two dozen programs that could very quickly come to an end, notwithstanding the fact that we're losing almost all of our vital climate sources too. It's worth noting that most of these agencies have been around for 50, 60 plus years, surviving 10, 15, 20 White House administrations, because simply stated, weather is not political, it affects everybody. Now, the American Meteorological Society released a statement addressing these concerns. They warned that the speed at which decisions are being made offers, quote, little to no opportunity for consideration of long-term impacts. The AMS is the nation's preeminent society for atmospheric scientists. They also write, quote, the scientific backbone and workforce needed to keep weather forecasts, alerts, and warnings accurate and effective will be drastically undercut with unknown, yet almost certainly disastrous, consequences for public safety and economic health. This is a deeply troubling and rapidly evolving situation. We'll be on top of this. I'll be working nonstop to gather more details. And of course, we'll keep you updated on social media as well. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.